Mass spectrometry is one tool in our toolbox of structure elucidation, determining the structures of unknown molecules. So what does mass spec tell us about molecular structure? With modern mass spectrometers, we can measure the masses of molecules very, very precisely, often to five or six decimal places. We can also measure the relative peak heights quite closely. Using computer algorithms, which take into account the very slightly different masses of each isotope and the natural abundances of all isotopes, modern mass spectrometers can actually deduce the exact chemical formula of a molecule. While we're not going to dwell on the details of how this procedure works, an example might be helpful. Let's compare two substances with very similar masses, C4H10O and C3H10N2. Both have molar masses of approximately 74 grams per mole. With low resolution instruments, we probably couldn't tell these two molecules apart. However, if we know their masses more precisely, that is, to more significant figures, we can tell them apart. C4H10O has a molar mass of 74.123 grams per mole, while C3H10N2 has a molar mass of 74.127 grams per mole. In short, high-resolution mass spectrometry gives us a very important tool to deduce the structures of molecules, its chemical formula. Of course, a chemical formula is helpful in determining a chemical structure. It tells us which and how many of each type of atom are present in a compound, but it doesn't tell us how those atoms are connected to each other. But there's one important piece of information we can calculate from the molecular formula. It goes by many names. Our textbook calls it double bond equivalence, or DBEs, and I usually refer to it as degrees of unsaturation, or DOU, or just U. But regardless of what you call it, it represents the number of pi bonds plus the number of rings in a molecule. Let's look at a series of molecules to see how this works. Here are several compounds that contain six carbons. Hexane, one hexene, one five hexadiene, cyclohexane, and benzene. Pause the video and see if you can draw their structures on your own. What are their chemical formulas? Hexane is C6H14, 1-hexene is C6H12, 1,5-hexadiene is C6H6, cyclohexane is C6H12, and benzene is C6H6. These pairs are constitutional isomers of one another. Now let's examine how many pi bonds and rings each molecule has. None of either for hexane, one pi bond in hexene, four total pi bonds in the alkyne. Remember that a triple bond is made of one sigma and two pi bonds. No pi bonds but one ring in cyclohexane, and three pi bonds and one ring in benzene. Can you see that the constitutional isomers have the same sum of rings and pi bonds? This pattern actually holds for all organic molecules. Any two molecules with the same molecular formula have the same number of rings plus pi bonds, or degrees of unsaturation. To calculate the number of degrees of unsaturation from a molecular formula, we use the following formula. The DOU equals C plus 1 minus the quantity H minus N plus X all over 2, where C H and N are the number of those atoms in the formula, and X is the number of halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine, in the formula. There are many equivalent ways to write this mathematical formula, so don't be confused if you see another version in a book or online. 